Yesterday, I noticed there was some exhaust leak coming out by the turbo. So I thought, well, maybe the clamp is loose. So I went and I tightened the clamp up. Now that we took it apart yesterday, we we're kind of in a hurry, so you didn't get to see much of that. You're gonna to get to see the reassembly. But I could I could feel exhaust leaking in three places, and it was right here, like on this clamp, right here, and right here. So when I took it apart and I pulled the pipe out, this little lip right here, that's where it seals. This clamp actually rides over this piece here like this and clamps down and clamps right over this here. And this bigger clamp clamps on here and clamps on there. So what was happening is, is I could I could feel this piece was just floating inside of there. So it it was grasping a hold of what was left right here to try to hold it together, but it wasn't sealing good. And I think part of the problem is, is that I always leave my exhaust brake on. That's possible, it did, and that clamp might have come loose and it was just causing problems. Yesterday we went, we took the our old piece over to, there's a little truck shop over here, real nice people. Took it over to them. And I thought you could buy this whole piece, but they don't make this whole piece. What they do is they make this piece and they make this piece. And then you, this, how this fits together determines the length of it. So our, this piece here, we didn't need, this piece is fine. So we got a new piece and it slips inside. We had the guy weld it up. So in order to get it back in, I've had to loosen this up right here, this clamp. And everything's nice and loose so that it can it can move. There's the exhaust brake system right there. It applies with air pressure. And it actuates this valve. And there's actually a big butterfly inside of here that that shuts off, and that's what closes off the exhaust, which gives you your braking power. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start putting this thing back together. Sorry you didn't get to see it coming apart, but like I say, sometimes when you work all week long, um, it's hard to. Uh, to do some things and that's just unfortunate for that. So what's nice about it with this pull back, it'll just drop right down in there real nice and easy. And then just push it back in. I'm gonna put this clamp around this right here. And that locks that in. What we don't wanna do is lose these nuts because we have a ton of rocks underneath us. And if uh, we've already dropped a screwdriver and a, and a socket, and it's not bad if you're on grass or if you're on something like that, but when you're, when you're working with rocks, it's never fun. So the thing is, get this clamp all lined up. I wasn't sure, the other clamp was probably okay. It probably would have still worked, but I hate to go this far, put it all back together and have it not work. So for, I don't know, a thousand bucks we were able to get another clamp. So there we go. So that's what we need to be able to clamp this down. And then once that's all tightened up, what I'll do is I'll go back in here and retighten the other parts. So here we go. Oh, that, see? <laughs> Got it. All right. So we're gonna tighten this bad boy up here. Which I'll tell you, um, guys that have been wrenching on stuff for years and years and years know the tools are extremely, extremely important. And if you plan on doing any work on your RVs when you're traveling, tools are an essential thing to have. Because I've been a mechanic so long, I actually have tools that I I've had since I started building my toolbox, which I started building in like 1972. As you can, can tell, this is a snap-on socket. This is a Mac wrench, snap-on screw. I, I have a little bit of everything, but the problem with snap-on and Mac and Cornwell and Matco and all those guys are, is when you get out on the road like I am, and you have a problem with a wrench, you can't go to the Matco store and replace the wrench. What you have to do is you have to find a rep out in the field. And most of the time, unless you're spending money with them, they don't want to help you out. So that's become kind of somewhat of a problem for, 
for people when they're traveling. Now this is a, this is gonna go right over here. This is like a little heel, heat shield, and there's another clamp that goes on. We're gonna put that on right now too. I don't wanna really get everything tightened up until we have everything in place. So, anyway, like I'm saying, the best place to go buy tools that I found, and now I understand though that uh, um, Sears is selling uh, another brand too. I know they sell Craftsman, which you can get, but I prefer the Cobalt tools. I find them to be uh, pretty good quality. They don't really have any specialty tools, but for your sockets and ratchets and, and any kind of household tool, they're gonna have that right there on the shelf for you. Anyway, here we go. I'm gonna slide this. Then we're gonna tighten this stuff in sequence. And I don't know what the sequence is, so I'm gonna use my sequence. which I think uh, will work. All right, okay. Now we're good. Okay, and that's on there. Now we can put this back on and get in place. Get that nut started again. Good where it's at. Notice one more thing I have to, to tighten down here. I'm going to tighten this first. I'm going to get these snugged up. Pretty snug. This one's snugged up real nice and tight. So now the pipe's all together. And by the way, while I had this apart, I was able to go in here and feel the turbine blades and feel how tight or how loose or where the turbo feels to me. And I'll tell you what, the way it feels to me, it feels awesome. It feels perfect. So I'm really happy with that. It doesn't feel like it has any problems. What would it feel like if it had problems? Well, it'd be tight or it'd be wobbly, loose and wobbly. But it's neither. It's just it's just nice and smooth. It feels it feels like somebody had just rebuilt it. So this is like backing up a trailer. We're screwing backwards, so you just kind of have to, it's hard to feel it when you're going backwards from what you're used to. One thing I do is I never check for cuts while I'm working because the problem with that would be is I would never get anything done. So. Oh. 
Okay, that's the turbo intake here. Runs through the cooler after cooler here. Somebody spent hours figuring out that little bracket. Okay, so now all we're gonna do is tighten stuff. So get this all tightened up and then we can fire it up and check the work.